Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This time we're at a brewery in Uvita called Whale Tail Brewery. And you know how much I like my craft beer. I've done a few videos of breweries as well as videos with Scott because he likes his craft beer as well. And our friend Don recommended that we come to this place and he talked to the owner, Gian, and said, hey, why don't you invite them here? Show them what you have for beer and food and the atmosphere. So yeah, that's why we're here. We're, we really want to see what this place is like. Don's talked highly of it and you guys will get to meet him if he's not camera shy. So yeah, we're gonna hang out here for the evening, try the beer, try the food, and let you guys know what to expect here at Whale Tail Brewery. How's it going, A? Eh? Good, A. Eh? It's K, hey, West Coast. All right, so we're just hanging out here having a beer, and there is some howler monkeys up in the tree here. We won't pick it up, but if you're here at Whale Tail Brewery, you have a good chance of seeing howler monkeys right here while you're having a beer and a bite to eat. Right in the jungle, it's cool. All right, so as you can see, I have six beer. I got a flight. Uh, two of them are the tap of the day and then the four of them are on tap all the time. So I'm going to go over them, let you know how the flavors are and they all look really good. Nice and clear. So yeah, let's, let's start with the summer ale. Yeah, nice. Refreshing. Good for a hot day. A hot muggy day like it is here in Uvita. This extra cold has hit the spot for sure. A little bit of fruitiness to it, not too hoppy. That's a good one. This is a Scottish ale. I don't know if I've had many Scottish ale. Oh, that's good. It's almost like um, almost like a stout, but not as dark. Really good. It's got like a, a little uh, chocolatey note to it. Coffee, chocolate. That one's good. And then this one is, got my notes here. <laughs> Next one is the Blackfin Porter. So this is gonna be obviously a darker. Yeah, that's really good too. So obviously a darker beer, but it's not too strong. It's still light, but it has, again, a little bit of that coffee note to it or chocolate note. And then next is the Whale Tail Pale ale. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Say that ten times. Say, yeah, say that ten times after having ten of these. <laughs> mm, yeah. Pale ale again, nice and light, good for a hot day, nice and crisp. Not really any like uh, fruit notes or anything to it. It's just a nice, nice light pale pale. And then this one is the. Malafama, so a bitter ale. My face is gonna go. Is that what you get all the time, Don? That's my go-to. This is so. This is Don's go-to. I'm gonna tell him if he's full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's probably got a better taste than I do for 
I usually don't drink beer, but I did when I moved here. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really good. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah. I was expecting this to be more it's bitter. No aftertaste. No, exactly. No, it's it's that. And then you have to put it on ice. Put it on ice, yeah. I mean, mine have been sitting here for a bit because I'm doing photos and stuff like that, so they're a little bit warmer. But again, on ice, cold, this is another good one to have on a hot day. All of these have been, I mean, even the even the dark one is super light, so as far as flavor goes. I'll slam that one, but Shana wants to have a little bit too. And then this one is the Apex Amber IPA. That's an IPA. You get it right away. You got that hoppiness. But you know, it's uh, that's a good one too. If you if you're new to IPAs, this would be one that you'd want to try because it's not not a high IBU. So yeah, yeah. Overall, like all of these are really good. Um, I just I don't know which one I'm gonna order next once I finish these. I'll have to see. And then we're also gonna try um, some food as well. So they do have some stuff. I'm gonna put the menu up and talk about it right now. So I'm gonna have the menu come up right here for you. So they have uh, snacks. So the guacamole and chips, uh, quesadilla, chief rijo, which you guys know we love chief rijo. So may have to try that just to compare. Uh, so they have different like fiesta fries, burrito, um, chicken fingers, matzo sticks, which is awesome. Um, yeah, as Azteca soup, which is usually really good everywhere we've had it. Then they of course wings, so different different types of wings, tacos and nachos. And there's a couple salads if you're not into eating any proteins or anything like that. So a couple salads you can have. Burgers, uh, there's sliders, burger, and a focaccia sandwich. Uh, you have a choice of vegetarian or sausage. And then they have a couple of steaks, beef tenderloin, and a ribeye. So yeah, it's a really well-balanced menu. Not big, which is good. I mean, most restaurants shouldn't have a big menu. You should have a smaller menu and just focus on making those items great. And then they also have different cocktails as well. So just any, basically any cocktail you can think of. And then they have some uh, special ones that they've made up as well. So yeah, basically anything you want to have to drink or eat, you're going to find it here. So we're going to continue drinking our beer, hanging out with Don, chatting, and uh, we'll see you when we get some food. Do you import all this stuff too? This was my brewery in Italy. Oh, so you brought it all over from yeah. Italy. Oh, wow. So yes. I where, had, where in Italy did you have it? I was in the center of Italy. Okay. In, in Sulmona. Oh, nice. And I had the brewery there for three years. Yeah. And then I just decided to move to Central America to... Yeah. And then like, start brewing yeah, here. That's awesome. something different. Yeah. So we have right now... Pitman uh, 500 liters. Made it in Italy. And made it in Italy. I requested for wow. this kind of valves. So we have, it's a compact system. Yeah. We have mesh, okay. we have filtering, and then boiling. Okay. That's mean after the mesh process, we yeah. transfer everything inside, and then we, we put back again just liquid. Yeah. And once it's done, we transfer all the liquid, the boiling liquid, to one of these fermentators. Okay. We have three fermentators. Each one of them are 1,500 liters, and our machine is 500, 600, so okay. we can eventually do double batch. Yeah, yeah. And as you see, all the fermenters are English style, so everything is open, nothing is under pressure. Oh, okay, yeah. So we keep all the fermentation like this. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's not pressurized. No, nothing no. is pressurized. Nice, so English style. Yeah. And yes, everything is English style. The only way that we have to clean the beer, so they filter the beer, is just by the two bulbs, so the partial one and the complete one. Yeah. So we take out the yeast that we need for oh, fermentation nice. and then kegging and bottling, re-fermentation. Yeah. Natural as much as you can. We don't inject CO2 or nothing. No, no, just all natural fermentation. Just everything yeah. natural fermentation. Nice, yeah. And, and you and you bottle it too? Yes. So we people can come in and everything by hand. Yeah. And everyone someone can buy it, come in and buy a case yes, of beer if they want. That's okay. correct. Yeah, yes. awesome. We have I don't know if it's open or not. Well, I'm gonna get yeah. <laughs> this is our like refermentation room, so we okay. have all the product here that is almost ready to go. Okay. So once it's fermented after three weeks or four weeks of refermentation, natural refermentation, you just put it in in a cold place and yeah. then it's ready for this. And you keep it cold all the time yes, as well. Exactly, yeah, that's yes. about that's you can taste that. I keep two three weeks at uh, 21 Celsius. Yeah. Just to keep the yeast alive yeah. and make the yeast like restart to work again and produce CO2 instead of alcohol. And that's the carbonation that we have on the product. Yeah. And once it's done, we just put it in cold, just to like yeah. put the yeast to, to sleep. kill it. Yeah. To kill the yeast, yeah. and that's it. Nice. You have, they have the natural carbonation in all the products. Just from the yeast. That's oh, correct. Wow, that's cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's a cool setup. Nice yeah. Small setup. Yeah. Cool. Do you want me to turn it on? You can see the side of the one. Sure, yeah. Can 
welcome to us. Gonna open the other side as well. It's kind of different because this is the filtering side. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so our food has arrived. I'm gonna start with the pizza because you just saw how he made it. He's Italian. Look at that crust. It looks amazing, so yeah. I'm gonna start with the pizza. So this is the smallest piece of pizza. Grab the smallest one. Gotta eat a lot of food to eat, so take your time. Fresh ingredients makes all the difference. Good cheese and that proof crust, the dough, that's how you do it. And I like how there's some thickness to it. A lot of places you go in Costa Rica, the pizza has the thinnest crust and it doesn't even hold up. Like, it's not bending or anything like that. This is proper pizza, so good. Um, there's four pizzas on the menu and they all looked really good. This was the, what was it called? It was the... Capriciosa. Capriciosa. So, uh, artichoke, olives, uh, there's sausage, cheese, sauce, mushroom. mushroom, really good. So yeah, if you're uh, wanting to have beer and pizza, then definitely come here because you're not going to be disappointed. I'm going to keep going on the pizza for a bit. Ed's staring at my pizza. I've got my fake pizza here. Yeah, he's, he's got his matzo sticks, which is like pizza. It's like the, you know, like pizza, or was it, yeah, Pizza Hut where you get like the stuffed crust pizza. It's like that kind of. Look at that, it doesn't, that's the thing is it actually holds up holds to the, up. Like to, everything, yeah, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not super thick, but it still holds up. Yeah. Oh, you put a lot on there. Yeah. So next up is the Chi Frijo and you guys know we love Chi Frijo anywhere we go and they have it, we have to order it. So it has proper pork on it. Look at that porkiness. It's pork o'clock. It's always pork o'clock. Always pork o'clock. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, so I'm gonna have a bite with everything. A little bit of pork, some rice, some beans, some get a jalapeno in there. Pico de gallo. This is a proper bite. It's still steaming. Mmm. Yeah. It's a proper chi frijo. I can tell you that. So if you've never had chi frijo anywhere, when you come to Whale Tail and you order it, you're getting exactly what it should be. They're doing it proper. All right, so Don has uh, offered up a piece of his ribeye steak for me. He went all out. And I'm gonna try a piece, let you know how it is. It's got chimichurri, so I'm gonna do a little, I need a knife. Thanks, yeah. Gotta have the chimichurri on there. That's so tender and good. Good choice, Don. How's that Chi Frio treating you? 
The chief for real? Yeah, the one no, that I'm training you for. No, no, oh, we're not training? <laughs> yeah. No, it's the for me. And he doesn't want to trade for some reason. <laughs> yeah, the steak is gracias. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, he's almost crying over there. Uh, give me my steak, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the last one that I ordered was the mango habanero wings. And we're going to see how spicy they are. That jalapeno that I had on the chief for is still punched in the back of my throat, so. I don't know if they're gonna help. They're gonna coincide and make me cough a bunch, but let's try it out. More cerveza. Yeah, that's the thing, you just drink more beer. And they have a whole slew of it, as you saw. <laughs> mm. I think it's because it's a brewery. Yeah, it's a brewery. It's weird, they have a whole bunch of beer. Yeah. Cerveza, I guess so, they have beer here. They do, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, so this, this is like a, a flavorful heat. You got the mango, and then at the end you get a little bit of punch on your tongue from the, the habanero. But yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. And the wings. The wings in Costa Rica are like pterodactyl wings. They're always so big and so meaty and delicious, and they're not like super rubbery and chewy. So, man, you can't go wrong with anything you order here from what I've tasted so far. I mean, I haven't tasted the whole menu, but definitely go for the pizza. And then if you're feeling like finger food, wings, and then if you've never had chief Rio, have it here. It's exactly how it should be. I'm gonna finish eating and then uh, we'll see you later. All right, so we just finished up here at Whale Tail Brewery and uh, we have, yeah, what an awesome night. Again, if you guys are in the area, Uvita, Ochal, Dominical, and you want a really good beer, come here. You want good pizza, come here. You want finger foods, come here. You want chili guaro shots, they have those too. So cheers. 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 Salud. 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 Oh, Buena vida. <laughs> Those are good too, so yeah, wow. All right, so just wanna thank Gian for letting us come here and show you guys what to expect here. And uh, yeah, all the excellent staff, honestly. Yeah, everybody been great. was yeah. so great with the service yeah. and yeah. right on top of everything. Hanging out with these so. two and uh, yeah, so uh, overall a really good experience and can't uh, highly recommend it enough. So if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos. And we'll see you in the next one, ciao. All right, so we got to do the sticker as we always do in all the, the places ritual. we recommend. That way, when you come here, you know you're definitely in the right place. So, it's gonna be right here. Wow. There you go. Now, you guys, when you come in, you see that. Keep going, and that's where the good beer is. <laughs>